So in this video, we are going to be putting up my RTX 3090 against Unreal Engine 5 Matrix demo. Now, I don't have a PS5 or Xbox, so this is actually my first time playing through this game, and I'm pretty excited. Now, obviously, I don't think the introduction was included in this demo, but I'm just going to have to play with what I have. So I have it right here set up. I have my FPS turned on in the top right corner. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in full screen mode. So let's walk around here. I'll hide those controls. I don't need it. Now, I am using a mouse and keyboard. So please do forgive me if I can't drive. I did get my license online. But my goodness, this is incredible. I made a video before this video here. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Because this demo right here is humongous. It is no joke. Absolutely beautiful, nanite enabled, and as far as I know, this is also Lumen, and I should have checked that before this video. So we have a couple of cars here, and I'm just going to go ahead and find me a nice car and drive around, because they did a really fantastic job with the destruction of vehicles in this demo. It is so crazy that I'm running this on one GPU. Granted, I am only running it at 30 frames per second. Now I am hoping the NVIDIA DLSS for UE5 will come out shortly because, oh, there's a cop car. Let's see if I can take that one. Oh, never mind. Um, so NVIDIA DLSS should be coming out shortly. They're pretty good at uh, releasing those plugins. And I'm going to revisit this here whenever that comes out because NVIDIA DLSS saves me a lot. A lot, a lot. If you've used DLSS in games or in Unreal Engine, man, it's it's a lifesaver. So we have the bus like we talked about. That is one million vertice right there. It's parked, high quality nanite mesh, static mesh, and a blueprint. What is going on here? It looks like there is a uh, there's already a car accident in there. All right, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, there is already a car accident in there. That's cool. I didn't even know that. So. Um, LOD 5, you're going to need to step out and file a report. Oh, let's see if I can drop, drive this cop car here. C, 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 no, okay, no, no, can't, ooh, let's grab this truck. No, all right, so I guess we're going to have to find a park vehicle. Ooh, over there, that looks like a fast car, we'll go with that. My goodness. It's really no wonder why everybody is switching over to Unreal Engine 5. They just announced that Witcher is going to be made. The next Witcher is going to be made in Unreal Engine 5. Gears of War is going to be made in Unreal Engine 5. It is going to be insane. And Tomb Raider. And you can see my FPS is drop, dropping there quite a bit. But this graphics, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely next-gen graphics. Ooh, I wasn't paying attention there. I was looking at the camera. Good thing we don't have ragdoll physics because I'm pretty sure that would screw up my computer really bad. But let's drive around here. Let's drive in this nanite city. All right, Epic. I should be able to break that tree with this vehicle. But this is incredible because, again, Cyberpunk games, Grand Theft Auto type games, driver games. I don't know if you remember that. It's just, it's a game changer because of nanite technology. I can have the city go on forever. I mean, forever and ever and ever. And I'm, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, wow. Ooh, dropping some frames in there. Now, you know what's crazy? What's going on in front of my car? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know there was a car there. So I guess we'll just go pick another car up. So, uh, oh, there's a there's a same exact car with different colors. So as I was saying, eventually my kids are going to play this later on their RTX 129090 Ti. And they're going to laugh at this 30 frames per second. But right now, I am witnessing this technology be born since Unreal Engine 5 was released today. Truly amazing. Truly amazing, man. I cannot wait until they make Minesweeper in UE5. What just happened there? That was definitely a glitch in a matrix. Wink. What happened there, man? Okay, I'm, that's crazy. 
It just kind of fell out of the sky there. Oh my goodness. Jeez, man. Jeez. Gaming will never be the same. And what is crazy about this whole thing is this is free to everyone. Okay? I want you to marinate that like pork chop real quick. This is absolutely for the free. And I think they even reduce the commission they're taking in when you make, I think, a million dollars. What the heck is going on? There is something funny going on around here. Whoa, what was that? Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, they even reduce the commission they'll take in. I think you have to make a million dollars for them to take a fee for, for your game or whatever. Which, man, that is crazy. I really want to... I really want to drive a cop car. <laughs> okay. All right, so we don't have our, you can't arrest me yet. That's cool. Oh my God. I just feel like these cars are super squishy, like marshmallow, man. They're gonna be a little bit harder than that. But what's crazy is I'm gonna stop right here and park right here. That city skyline you're seeing right in front of you is not an image. It's not a picture. It's, a, it's mesh. It's geometry. And it goes on for a while. And if you haven't seen my previous video, when I looked at this, I'm going to show you here in a second. Ah. Oh, that's cool. So they actually disappear when I hit them. Very cool. Very cool. I didn't even realize that. But... I mean, I'm going to say this right now. I might, I might be alone in this. But can they honestly just make this game... A real game. I don't know if I'm alone with saying that. Can we just make this game? I'm not sure if you guys played The Matrix in the early 2000s. That was a decent game. Can we just have that game remade in Unreal Engine 5 and make it a legit game? I don't even care about the storyline. I don't care how crappy the storyline is. Make it so like an open world we get to quest and stuff in The Matrix. I would buy that game five times if you guys released it because this is amazing and obviously i'm going to play around with this city here i'm going to make my own version of the matrix you already know and i'm going to be using this city for my short films you already know and let's not hit a cop all right go so i mentioned in my previous video this car is a static mesh but has multiple static meshes in the blueprint so that means that's why i'm able to tear it tear it up like this because it's not actually one solid object they're all static meshes nanite static meshes inside this car right now in a blueprint and that's why i can just wreck stuff up like that i think i need a new car let me get out of this one and get a new car this is so cool and i'm, I'm probably before i go and obviously my uh, my uh rtx 3090 is doing pretty good considering um but Hey, look, it's Citizen Meta 1. Oh, no, it's not. I like that freaking blazer, though. I want to check that out. Um, This looks like a cool car. Oh, man. This is cool. And again, I'm going to bring something up to you about this nanite technology. Since the static mesh of the cars are nanite, that means they don't have to pop in on you. If you've played a video game in your life, you're going to start noticing things in the distance are going to start to disappear and pop in. With nanite technology, they are always going to be there. Even the buildings. I can see as far as my eye can see if I look to the right side over there because there are nanite geometry. These cars are geometry. They're not going to pop in and they're not going to have a level of detail. They're just going to pop in and pop out. They're there for as far as I can see it. As long as it's in my viewport, I can see it. And again, if you think about it like that, oh man, sorry guys, let me, let's reach another guy. If you think about it like that, your mind is going to be blown because you have this entire demo running in one GPU and the cars in a static mesh and all the buildings don't disappear. 
And again, this is why everybody is swapping over to Unreal Engine 5. I love those lights too. All right, so we're gonna go crash real quick. Let's see if I can get my um, GPU to crash or Unreal Engine 5 to crash. And then uh, we'll take a look at the buildings and uh, some other things. And man, that tree should be destructible. So let's go about uh, 100 miles an hour if this car can go that fast and we'll smash into a vehicle and let's take a look. Ah, that was whack. Can I jump off a bridge? No. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, exit out of this and I'll show you kind of the viewport and kind of talk about what I was talking about. Talk about what I was talking about. So if I zoom in all the way out, zoom in all the way out, you're going to see that those are actually all nanite. So if I go to lit, nanite, you're going to see the triangles. All those geometries are there. They're not images. They're not planes. They're not HDRIs. They're actually objects. And if I get closer to those, you're going to see that they are getting closer to me. And my camera is maxed out. And as you can see, there's still stuff on the background. Right, and that is just bananas. Look at this, all the way back there, all the way back there. And if you look at the bottom right, right here in a world partitioner, you're gonna see how massive this map is. Gosh, wait, where's the, oh my God, look, look at that. That's the little city we were in just earlier with my car. Look how far I am from it. And I'm trying to go there right now, but I have my mouse maxed out and I'm trying to fly in there. And just, again, this is how massive it is. I know I keep saying massive, but it's truly massive. This is like massive. <laughs> That's enough. All right. And again, we're going to take a look at the buildings now um, because some of y'all were asking about it. If you actually go inside them, uh, I'm going to go ahead and slow down a little bit. If I go inside, those are actually not real buildings. All right. So as you can see, they have image projected to them just like that. But I think there are... There are some buildings that actually have stuff inside it. I don't know. I think it's over here. I, I remember seeing it on the demo, but let's see. It, it might not be. I guess it's not. What the heck? Maybe on the PS5 it is. But I remember seeing that one of them actually has like a room inside it, but I don't know. I might just be tripping. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this. Uh, the RTX 3090 definitely did struggle, and I'm not even playing in the 4K. I think that was like 1080. I think that was like 1080p, but yeah, I'm going to be creating a lot more videos in Unreal Engine 5, Matrix Demo, and pretty much the whole entire release. So if you want to know something, go ahead and type it in the comments below. If you have any questions, like always, just ask, and I'll see you all later.